Today we're going to talk to you about the Fresair air cooling unit. Before we get into the details, I just want to describe what this unit is so you have a better understanding. It is mounted onto the roof of the Escapod and it is instead of an air conditioner, uh, we use the Fresair. It is an evaporative cooler, which means that it essentially uses the process of evaporation to cool the air inside of the cabin. Uh, what you see here is a pine filter. This pine filter is inside of the main chamber, and then there's a three gallon reservoir of water in there as well that saturates this, and then the fan blows air through this into the cabin, and as the water evaporates, it cools the air around it, and therefore cools the cabin. Now, to use your fresh air, you'll have to do an initial setup of filling the chamber with that three gallons of water. So we send you out the door with this little device here. It attaches onto the right side nozzle on the fresh air, and then using the hose that we provide you, you connect to this quick connect, and then tie the hose into just a standard hose bit at your house or uh, at a campsite and you can fill the reservoir. In the winter, it does require a bit of winterization, mostly just in the sense that you need to drain the water out of the chamber. And so we also provide you with a much longer tube that attaches to the left side, and then this allows you to direct the water away from your trailer as you are emptying the reservoir. Now we'll show you how to use the fresh air inside of the cabin. All right, so the fresh air is centrally located inside of the cabin. There are four different vents that can all be directed in different ways, like so. And then to turn on the unit, you press this button on the left. You'll see some different light indicators light up. Um, you can hear the fan setting there. There are multiple different speeds. We'll drop it down there. If it says low water, then you need to hit the teardrop button here, which will pump more water into the system to create more of a cooling effect. And then there is also a light here. Uh, and then to power off the unit, you simply hit the power button once more. 